this is video one of tutoring during Corona. Um, I miss you guys. I just wanted to touch base, let you know that I am home with a three-year-old. I am home with a three-month-old. Um, I'm a hot mess, obviously, but um, I'm still here and available for you. So if you need to reach out to me, my email is a pitman at wmsd.net. And then um, a lot of you have already gotten my phone number. So you can reach out to me anytime you need. I'm gonna just today just review some um, of the reading rules and talk to you about open syllabus. So I don't, I realize that we're gonna be gone until like till the end of summer. So my plan is maybe if I if I can, I'm sure I can because quarantine is try to make a, the video for all of um, the Barton Four book. Um, most of you have been through a lot of this. I have one student that hasn't been through four. So a lot of this is going to be a review of stuff that we've done throughout this year. But I'm hoping that at least in next year, then we can start at um, book five. And so we can just move up. So we're going to talk about open syllables today. So an open syllable is when you have the open sound. So each vowel has a sound it makes, it has two sounds. So for example, A makes a sound A, and also makes a sound A, uh, okay? So like Addy, A, uh, um, and then like Ha, Ha, Ah. Uh. You're talking to me? I'm talking to the video, but you can listen in. It would be good for your ears to hear this. So, like, I makes a short sound. I is an it, it, itchy, and then I, it says its name. So, the long sounds are going to be when they're open syllables. So, for example, open syllables are going to be A when it says A, E when it says E, I when it says I, O when it says O, U when it says U, which doesn't really happen um, very often, and, and Y. So, we know that Y has a, a specific rule that we learned in, I think, book three, and it's um, the crybaby rule. So the word cry, C-R-Y, cry, the Y says I, because it's a one syllable, so one clap word. And remember that every syllable has to have a vowel. So cry, the vowel is the Y, and it says I cry. Um, also words like why, um, my, um, any like one syllable word, but the word baby, which has two syllables and two claps, two vowels, the has bay, bay, which is that long a, and then the second syllable is b, and the y at the end does not. This hair, my hair's mess. The Y at the end does not say I, it says E. So Y is kind of a weird vowel. Um, so just to remind you, we're gonna talk about some other ones. Um, the, so we know that a closed syllable is when you have a word that has, at the end, there is no other letter. So you have, or there is another, that did not make any sense at all. Let me pull up some examples. So, the, these are just sight words, but I'm just pulling it up for you. The word her, it is a closed syllable because the vowel is marked off. Like there's something stopping it from being the last letter of the word. If I were to mark off the, the R, it would change to he. When you say her, your E vowel, your e vowel changes sound. And that's because it's now a closed syllable. When it's open, it will say its long name. When it is closed, it will say its short name. So, long name, he, you hear the E. Short name, her. You barely hear the E in there. Her. Other words on here. How. H-O-W, the O is marked off. Um, both. If you just had B-O, it would be Bo. Walk. If I had W-A, it'd be Wa. Um, none. So N-O is no. You hear the O. 
If it's a close syllable, you would add a, add more letters. So um, none, so N-O-N-E, it changes that O sound. In addition, it also has another um, vowel on there, but it's a sight word, so I'm not really 1,000% sure on that word because we say no, but we don't say no -y. I don't know. All right, so um, <clears throat> normally it's really weird doing this on camera because normally we do things so interactive and you sit next to me and you pull letters and you pull sounds. Um, but I want you today to just kind of think about the things I'm talking about. And if you have paper, you can write down the paper. I'm going to have some words and have you write down things. Um, but obviously this cannot be as it is when we are in class together. So, um, open syllable words are the words that have the vowels at the end. There's nothing that covers it. And closed syllable words are going to have a consonant after the vowel that blocks the vowel from saying its name or its long one. So the word flu, oo, versus the word flub. Which one is closed syllable? This one. That one, flub, would be closed syllable. Okay. Um, so long I at the end of the word is the Y is the I sound like cry, why, shy, my, um, and then flu is kind of a weird word. So there's no new teaching in this one. This one's all review. So I'm going to say a nonsense word and I want you to write down, um, what the, oh, where to go, where to go. This is so weird doing this. Okay. So I'm going to write down a word. I'm going to say a word. And you are going to write down the word. So, on your, you should have a piece of paper. Let me give you a minute to get a piece of paper out. The first words I'm going to do are going to be real words. Then we're going to move to nonsense words. And then we're going to practice. We can still do reading the nonsense words. Um, but instead of reading, we're gonna you're going to write down like the beginning phrase, the middle phrase, the vowel sound. Okay, so the real words I want you to write down are he. Jello. Um, in just a minute, when mommy's done with her video, you can get some jello, okay? I mm -hmm. promise. And you can have some pineapple too. Alright, so the first word is he. The second word is pry. Like, he pried me for information. So, pry. Bye. The next word is no. The next one is flu. And the last one is bye. When I go back to flu, I mean like the flu is in the virus, not flu is in like I flew home. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I want you to say every sound that we're here when we do these, these sounds. So the nonsense words here are your nonsense words. Pre. What sounds do you hear? Yeah. E. The next one is tro. So t. Oh. Next one is cly. Dre. And thu. The next thing I want us to do is we're going to work on. Um, I want. To, I'm gonna say a word again, and you're going to. We're gonna do the same thing, just a little bit more practice. So the next one is go. So write down go. Next one is sly. Then the word I. Then the word me. Now for our nonsense words. Prue. Sh. Bly. Tro. Dree. Last one is dree. Okay, so all together you should have 20 words written down. Each one of those words should um, be written down on your paper. And then we're, we can't do sight words. However, we can do some phrases. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say a phrase and you're gonna write it down. So um, these are your these are your who phrases. Your who phrases are the shy fox. Ma, the shy fox. I'll give you a second. My bold child. My bold child. Chet and Jim. Chet and Jim. I don't know if we're there yet. But we're 
their wild, their wild cult, their wild cult, Then we're gonna do the did what. So the did what phrases are doesn't come, won't cry, had the flu, and will try to be. So I'm gonna go slower again. Doesn't come, won't cry, had the flu, had the flu, will try to be. Now we're gonna go to our where phrases. Okay, okay. Where phrases. By the dry bank, by the dry bank. At the pro shop. At the pro shop. At the mall. At the mall. In his stall. In his stall. Then we're going to do our add-on phrases, and then I'm going to have you create four different sentences. So what you're going to do is I'm going to do the add-on phrases, and then we're going to move on to writing phrases. And then we should be done for the day. All right, our add-on phrases. But could still troll. But could still troll. By two. And this is the number two. By two. When he is lost. When he's lost, if I'm there, if I'm there. Okay, so now you're going to take your phrases that you've written down. So you should have written down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 phrases. And what I want you to do is put them together and make four different sentences so four different sentences so um i'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull one out of here because i don't want it to to steal yours um but you're gonna combine them um and make four different sentences um and and that's going to be all for today. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos for the, like this for you guys so you guys can also go into the summer. Please let me know what questions you have. You should have written down. Oh, my goodness. My three-year-old made mess. Um, you should have written down the words that were reviewed. I think there were uh, quite a few words that we went over. I think there were, there were 20 words. And then you should have four sentences at the end from the 16 phrases that we, that we did. Um, Turn those into me. Uh, what I'll do is you guys can email me those or you can send me a picture. My phone number is 870-273-5561. Um, and that way we can just check and make sure that you've tutored for the day. All right. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.